a mysterious vortex in a hundred-year-old tunnel, ominous figures in black robes performing dark magic, evidence of crimes discovered by hikers. Rumors and legends of dark affairs have surrounded the crumbling concrete structures of Blauvelt State Park for decades. Many sound like ghost stories, but some of the horrors are true. Perched at the top of a mountain in New York's lower Hudson Valley is Blauvelt State Park. Hidden within lies graffiti-covered ruins and curious tunnels. The ruins are known by several names, the Tweed Tunnels, Gun Tunnels, and the Clausland Mountain Tunnels. Regardless of what it's called, the park's story is surrounded by mysteries and myths that have intrigued visitors for years. Blauvelt Rifle Range was built to train New York National Guardsmen. It saw its first use in 1910, though it was still under construction at the time. The range featured several concrete target walls at distances up to a thousand yards. Tunnels along the length of the range allowed for the safe movement of personnel. There was also an observation tower and several buildings, including a mess hall. By 1911, a year after Blauvelt Rifle Range was put into service, it ran into problems. The range was facing east, causing the men to shoot into the sun from morning until early afternoon. As a result, bullets missed their mark and rained down off the mountain into the neighboring villages. By 1913, the rifle range shut down and was transferred to the Palisades Interstate Park Commission. The site was renamed Camp Bluefields and run by the YWCA as a summer camp for young women from New York City. This lasted until 1918, when compulsory military training for all boys ages 16 to 19 took place at Camp Bluefields. The location was again used for military training during World War II, after which it was abandoned. While the sound of rifles and soldiers are long forgotten in Blauvelt State Park, the years since haven't been entirely peaceful. The structures and land left to decay under the impulses of nature are surrounded by strange lore and evil deeds. Numerous dead bodies have been found in the woods around the old range, including one victim who had been stabbed 83 times. Perhaps horrific events like this inspired some of the more supernatural narratives surrounding the tunnels. Some have described an odd wind emanating from the walls of the first tunnel and the feeling of a strange presence. Claiming a wormhole or portal is the cause of the phenomenon. Another story is of an evil apparition in one of the buildings. This entity allegedly causes an overwhelming feeling of anger in those nearby. Luckily, this apparition is reported to only come out at night. One of the more provocative legends surrounding this place is that it's used for dark magic by a satanic cult. Since at least the 1980s, figures in black robes have been reported in various parts of the woods and tunnels. Strange sigils and glyphs mark the trees in some areas. And in one section of the park, there are curious rustic altars with stones atop them. It's easy to imagine dark figures conducting demonic rituals among these bizarre installations. Stories of the supernatural and evil cults are fun ideas to entertain. They give a visit to the tunnels an eerie feeling. But the stories behind some of the bodies discovered in the surrounding woods are more horrifying than any urban legend. 
in addition to organized crime murders and other killings, two serial killers left victims in the woods around the old Camp Bluefields. One was a victim of Richard Kuklinski, the Iceman. In 1983, a body wrapped in garbage bags was discovered in the woods near Clausland Mountain Road. While inspecting the body, the medical examiner discovered ice crystals in the internal organs, indicating the body had been frozen to mask the time of death. The victim was last seen 15 months earlier in 1981, presumably frozen the entire time. This discovery led to the killer being called the Iceman. This crime was eventually linked to Kuklinski. In 1986, he was arrested and charged for this murder and four others. The second serial killer to leave a body in the area was Richard Cottingham, called the Times Square Killer and the Torso Killer due to the location and the manner in which he murdered some of his victims. In 1970, a group of hikers discovered the body of a young woman west of Tweed Boulevard near the ruins of Camp Bluefields. For more than 50 years, this murder remained unsolved until the victim's granddaughter began communications with the killer and was able to get him to acknowledge his involvement in 2022. He didn't say the words, I killed your grandmother, but he did say to me that he knew what happened to her. Cottingham later confessed to the police. These crimes, paired with the paranormal tales surrounding the tunnels, certainly make for an intriguing walk in the park. Evidence exists for the various murder victims discovered in the area, but not for the claims of the supernatural and satanic cults. I think it's a real possibility that these urban legends arose during the satanic panic of the 1980s, a time when heavy metal bands were accused of backwards messages in their songs. The satanic message is clear, both in the album covers and in the lyrics. And news outlets were talking about secret underground cults. The apparent practice of Satanism, that's worship of the devil. Just about every town in America, including my own, had a cemetery or some other creepy location where animals were supposedly being sacrificed and rituals performed. Just a few hundred yards from Blauvelt State Park was Nyack College, a Christian theological school which is now closed. I can easily imagine the students visiting the park at night and telling each other ghost stories influenced by the media of the day. The critics be damned. Devil worship is real, ladies and gentlemen. Or perhaps the stories were inspired by the bodies discovered in the woods around these curious walls and tunnels. Regardless of where these legends of the supernatural came from, they add a layer of intrigue to the already interesting history of these ruins. To see more of my videos in the future, hit the subscribe button or head over to my website and sign up for my newsletter.